ambao wengi tumejawa na majonzi tunaomba uwepo wako tutulize tupatie nguvu ili kazi hii tuitimize katika imani na wewe mwenyewe ufute machozi yetu tunaomba tubariki kubariki boma hii kubariki na kazi zote tutakazo zitekeleza tunaomba yote kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu baba yetu ni mbinguni jina lako Salam Maria
So before you sit, Agikisha, Umesoma, Mali, Nadakana Uketi. Uh, Mali and Bapo, Nadakana Uketi, Tafadali, the Namba Uketi, the Posa to see you in a confusion. Uh, Ili to see you in a confusion among Changanigo, Tafadali, Ka 
mahali ambapo unastahili ukae na ningeomba wale wako pande ule kwa nyumba watu wote wageni wote tunawahitaji waje upande huu diposa tuanze sherehe zetu za, za, za leo tafadhali wale ambao wageni wale ambao wangali wanakuja tafadhali tuingie hakikisha umeketi wako kwaya one tune uh, tunapojipanga na ndugu ndugu ningeona mba karibia hapa mahali ambapo niko ili tuwe tunasalimiana ndugu ndugu tafadhali mahali uliko naomba uje hapa kwaya just one number Tafadhali mwenye gari KCJ 823 uh, mwenye gari K KCJ 823 tafadhali umeacha kama umewasha Azat kwa hivyo tafadhali fanya kile ambacho kinahitajika uh, pasipo kupoteza wakati Uh, kama vile ambavyo nilikuwa nimesema na wakaribisha rasmi tuweze kuanza ibada yetu ya leo kusoma katika kitabu cha muhubiri 3 utaelewa exactly what we are doing so without wasting time utaanza kwaya mkimaliza hiyo uh, ndugu utakaribia kusomea hiyoloji tafadhali kwaya just one number
on education. Late Owen Dominic Macau started his schooling at Kahawa Primary School from 1970 to 1976, where he sat for his CPE. In the following year, 1977, he joined East Lee Boys High School for his O-levels and completed in the year 1980. He continued for A-levels in the same school until 1982. On mark, the late O1 Dominic Macau was recruited in the KDF in March 1983. After initial military training at RTS, he was posted to DevTech and Makasi for a communication course where he graduated as a signaler and was posted to Signal Battalion Kahawa Barracks. During his military career, he rose from a private to his current rank O1. Also in the course, Also in the course of his military career, he went for further studies in the United Kingdom and Israel. He also served in various United Nations missions, namely East Timor and South Sudan. On marriage, the late Owen Dominic Macau wedded his beautiful wife, the late Elizabeth Mukene Macau, on the 27th of June, 1987, at Precious Blood Tala, formerly St. John Tala Catholic Church. They were blessed with two children, namely Gerald Matu Macau and Gertrude Nduko Macau. On illness and demise, the late Owen Dominic Macau enjoyed a relatively healthy life until this year when he developed some health challenges and was admitted at Forces Memorial Hospital, Nairobi, where he was treated and his condition improved. In September, he was again readmitted at Nairobi Regional Hospital at Kahawa Barracks. Later on, he was transferred to Forces Memorial Hospital for further treatment, where the late Dominic Macau passed on on 25th November 2022 while undergoing treatment. He has left behind two children, Gerald and Gertrude, and one grandchild, Tyron Matu Macau. Uh, uh, let us appreciate Ndugu Tumushangilie. Tumushangilie, mejaribu, uh, kusumama mbele ya kongamano kama hili, sio raisi. Kwa hivyo, tutaenda kipendi cha picha na unenaji and I will be very strict itafuata kile ambacho nimepewa pengine wale ambao uh, workmates au ndio kama kuna changes pengine lakini I will strictly follow what I was given Are we together? Stuko pamoja? Uh, I was just given this paper so I will strictly follow what is written Kwa hivyo tutaanza na watoto wake Gerard and Gertrude Nduko picha wako wapi wasaidiwe waletwe hapa mtoto wake strict au wawili where is uh, tafadhali chukueni nguvu alafu mje ah uh, those are uh, the two uh, children of the late Dominic uh, cameraman you will guide them while with his mama Karibia tu hapo. Ah, uh, nyuma 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 ama angalia kunataka angalia sasa hivi. Haya. Ah, hiyo ndio familia. Santi naona mmechukua nguvu. Thank you. Grand child. Tyrone Tyrone. Nasimame na baba yake. Tyrone. Hajafika. So, akifika, mutanikubalia iyo picha turudie. Sawa, so, sawa. So, so, nataka mwaitu. Mwaitu haletwe. Mwaitu haletwe. That is the mother 
Maito Maito Zobina Chapigo to Picha. That is the mother. And the mama yake wageni wale ambao mnaingia tafadhali kuna viti vingi. Ah mkisimama huko mnatuaibisha ni kama hatuna viti. We have more than enough. Tafadhali ingieni. Wewe ndiye mama. Saidiwe tu. Tukiliwe hiyo picha. Wana kuna ugumu aletewe lakini atatoka tu. Sandi mama, learn from there, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, Mutuku, Bernard, uh, Munyoli, Kamoy, please, Ujeni. Brothers and sisters. So the brothers and sisters, kama kuna moja, najisikia kuna nguvu ya kuongea, taongea lakini sio lazima. Moja tu, those are the brothers. Uh, the sisters who are happy, Margaret. Margaret, Margaret, you are happy. Mama Edwin, Mama Edwin, you are happy. Oh, you remember? So, those are the brothers who are here with us. Muema, Bernard, Sandy, Bernard, come on, Mr. Tiriyo, the way you talk about Kule, Mungu, the Muema. Ah, uh, wapange, wangu wa, zevi watadi watadi panga. Kuna lingu mu na wazaa kwa kwa zima manyuma. Kama vile vile utao. Mm. Kama kuna moja najisikia kuna nguvu lakini sio lazima karibieni. Um mama yetu tafadhali tu chukua nguvu. Chukua nguvu. Bernard karibia kidogo. Ili muonekane, ili muonekane. Edwin ya kwa wapi? Ndugu, ndugu, amekuja Edwin. Ndugu kuja unisaidie. Ndugu kuja unisaidie. Ndugu utasioma kwa niyamba ya soma nyo. Eee. Ah, kwa soma. Ah, staribi. Ah, kwa kiliso wapelo. Wanajeshi. Padri. Kwa katikati yetu. Familia. na watu wa muhimu sana wa neighbors Mungu ni mwema Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema Asante Mimi natakuwa inafasi Kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ni uwepo wake Alitupatia Dominic kama mtoto wa baba na mama kama ndugu yetu ambaye ndugu yetu mpendwa sana baba ya kina Jeru na Ged na mwana familia ambaye alipendwa sana na familia yake na hata extended family mimi nilisema nitaongea sina nguvu lakini nitajaribu mimi Dominic alikozaliwa nilikuwa karibu naye sana nilimosha nikambeba nikampatia chakula na Dominic nilimleta hapa kama wale ndugu zangu wengine na Dominic tulikuwa karibu karibu sana mimi na huyo ndugu yangu 
ni mtoto wa mama watano nilipendwa na mama na baba yake na mtoto alikuwa na usafi sana straight off alikuwa straight forward person na labda watu wengi kwa hivi ni jamaa mwingine kwa sababu alikuwa kazini lakini mahali popote angefika alikuwa wanajua kweli ndio mtu amefika Dominiki Sibina sasa sema nini Mtu yote amepotea sika Dominiki Na wana respect Na sasa Ah tumsengelee amejaribu Uh, kwa hivyo tuna tributes band tutasoma baadaye kwanza tuende na kipindi cha picha. Ah uh, tutaita watu wawili watatu watusomee haraka haraka. Ah uh, ningependa uh, sisters in law kiongozi wa Kalunde sisters in law. Kalunde watu nimeita Kalunde hili wale wengine wafuate. Ah uh, ndio ni sisters in law. Mwende interest picha tu peke yake. Those are sisters in law. Ah, to Caribbean. After that, we are going to go to the Senegalese logo after the photo. Ah, to Japan, to Japan, in a style. Then brothers in law wakiongozwa na mayango Peter and Mujomba watakuwa tayari Ah uh, Peter Peter please Ah uh, Peter please Daniel I love Daniel wa wapi Ah uh, tafadhali njooni brothers in law to Caribbean to Hadali. Then from there, in laws, uh, one of Guinea from Machakos, which is Panga Vizuri. Team Amaui, Machoka Pule, Machakos, to Hadali, Wanze, Usmama. One about Machoka Pule, Machakos, Amadijua, Stack Waita for Majina, to Hadali, to Wanze Kuiduka, Ili, to Kizan in Wakati. Wale ambao umetoka uh, Majakos Sawa Sawa Mimali uh, Alikuwa meowa Dominic Ule Majakos Sandeni kwa kufika Naona mama angali anajikaza Aleto tu pole pole Then from there Ni wale ambao uh, in Kikamba, we call them Sietai. Sietai, Mwale Mbao, Watoto Wawa, Meolewa, Apa, Ama Wameowa. Uh, Sietai, Mtoka Makuweni. Kila mahali kuna jijua. Mpange mama tu vizuri. Uh, Muna Mbao, Mujipange Kidogo. Sita, wanze kuinuka. Kwa wale ambao wanatoka makuweni na kule kingine. Wale kutoka kijiji kama wamefika. Ah, sita mko wapi? Eh, wale wengine hiyo ilikuwa ni specific kutoka Machakos, wale wengine sasa. Wale wengine. Alangi ndio kazi ndio mimi nasaku. Hata kama ni mmoja 
you are equal to the task tafadhali represent them naona mwingine ametokelezea upande ule mwingine asiye tai kutoka maundengo ni wamekuja kama wamekuja bado sasa wale ambao wameingia angalieni mbele kwa ajili ya picha ngoja kuna mmoja anakuja then from there nephews and nieces wale walikuwa wanaitwa dominic wale walikuwa walikuwa wanamuita ango waje sasa wale walikuwa wanamuita ango nephew and nieces wajitarishe ngoja kwanza kuna mwingine amekuja as we continue Edwin mahali huko ningependa ukaribia hapa na kazi nataka unisaidie nephew and nieces nephew and nieces mkaribie kidogo wale wafupi msonge mbele karibieni picha isionekane ikiwa mbali sana Then after that uh, the best couple that is Kaluki the best couple Kaluki our our tukimaliza nao uh, the best couple Kaluki yako wapi Kaluki yako wapi Ah uh, kama hajafika akija tajulishwa then nataka Uh, the, the family now is a whole that is mom of Mvua. family family all the, the larger family of Mvua tafadhali njoni the larger family of Mvua njoni in short mom of Mvua hata hao ambao brothers wote still mtarudi tena mom of Mvua ingeni wote If you are associated with the Mvua's family, talk mbele. Ona ibeti. Where are the ladies? Where are the ladies? So that is the larger family. That is the larger family. Extended. I'm corrected. Extended family. Extended family. Our gone ni wengi. Ah kama kama ndio niongoza utaniambia waingie in two groups. Ah uh, fa ah uh, wanaingia safari moja Eh ah uh, let us start with men Tuanze na wanaume Tuanze na wanaume Aya Ladies um big ya tu mbele Ladies Uh, kaluki amefika 
Nataka Edwin and Alvin baptism baptism ablaz communion communion Then from there, Mbaka si Angos, Dominic Kupanda, Ulu Mungino Panda wa Mama, in short, Mbaka si Wote. After that, Mwingie. Mbaka si Mukoapi. Mbaka si, in short, all of all of you, Tafadali, Zonga Mele. Then from there, China friends from Kawa. Marafiki kutoka Kawa. Marafiki kutoka Kawa. Marafiki friends from Kawa Barracks. Tyron, Tyron, ni mejilisho wamefika before our marafiki uyo mtoto wa letwe. Tyron, Edwin, nisaidie. Ama naona uh, tayari hamefanya kazi. Uh, sawa, that is the grand charge. That is the grand... Uh, That is the grand charge. Thank you. 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 Thank Friends from Kahawa. Marafiki kutoka Kahawa. Friends from Kawa, Mangali Wanakuja. Maraviki kutoka Kawa, the yo picture. Then after that, our friends of Gerard and colleagues. Marafiki, Zake, Gerard and friends, colleagues, you will follow. Best couple, and look at you come again here in Julishwe. Marafiki, Zake. Friends from Gidurai, Neda Pala Ilwa Kwone. Friends, Kuroa Gidurai. Nagimizana na Wakati. Friends, Kuroa Gidurai. Gerard, Neda Pala. Matu, Ilwa Kwone. Tuko Pamoja. Friends, Wamagi. Wamagi. 
wa magi tuingie hiyo picha then from there itakuwa ni ah colleagues hapo ni kama nitahitaji msaada ni kama nitahitaji msaada colleagues and marafiki friends of Gerard songa tu pamoja mbele tafadhali songa tu pamoja mbele KDF tafadhali moja si yule unajua si nirejea pengine sasa nikakuita yule kumbe nakosa kama moja aje aniongoze tafadhali juu ni nani mmoja tu lazima tufuate protocol tafadhali tafadhali tutafua uh, and in case of any inconvenience i apologize tafadhali asante Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Amjambo wote. Japo tunaomboleza tunasalimia hamjambo wote. Asanteni sana. Basi kama alivyo tanguliwa kutueleza, uh, ni marafiki na wale ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi pamoja na mwenzetu, mwenda zake. Tutaanza kwanza na senior officers pamoja na officers wale wako hapo wote waweze kwenda pale. Alafu kisha baadaye tutapata wale warrant officers and then uh, baadaye tutamaliza na other colleagues ambao ni askari wenzetu wote. Tuanze kwanza na senior officers pamoja na officers waweze kupata hiyo picha ya kumbukumbu. Alafu baadaye watafuata wale warrant officers ambao ni rank mates wake and then kisha uh, tutakuwa na wale wengine walio andamana pamoja nasi. stand by Tumaliza tumewa piga picha mkiwa mmemaliza tupatieni signal asanteni tunaweza kupeti tofadhali kwa heshima wanaofuata sasa ni warrant officers ambao ni cheo chake waweze kujongea mbele alafu tutakuwa na XKDF kama watakuwepo tafadhali tutawaita tena mara mbili ah kikundi cha kwanza tuchukue wale ambao wako na in uniform alafu wale wengine ambao wako in uh, civil clothes tutakuja baadaye sure. alafu wengine ni mother the, the, we can do two lines wale ambao wamebarikiwa kuwa na urefu waweze kuwa nyuma wale ambao tumebarikiwa kuwa na ufupi tuweze kujongea mbele Natupoe barakoa, tupoe barakoa tafadhali. Naambiwa tuone. Wale 
escape here, stand by. Asante excade after that it was a good get to walk away muda and I do to go in the to go in muda santeni santeni kakuti now I'm going to walk away muda to touch and I'm here my day aha now I'm going to get a chance now get a chance Thank you. Tukuje wote wote wale ambao wamesalia wa kutoka katika jamii ya KDF. Tuarakishe kidogo, tuarakishe kidogo kuna huko nasi. Tuchukua kwanza wale ambao wako na sivi kalafu tutamaliza na wale wako na uniform Tukumbuke wale wamebarikiwa kuwa na urefu wakule nyuma Wale wamebarikiwa kuwa na ufupi waje mbili Then before they come, ah, kuna mzee hapa atajieleza. Ah, karibu, karibu. Uyu mzee apigwe picha kisha atajieleza. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Now, ah, mimi na itwa wana kufisa wana retire. Jekonia. Odeo. That is the name I was given. Now I'm compelled to come here and make a brief statement about my friend who is lying here. I have a special connection with him that uh, when I was retiring in the year 2020, this is the gentleman who sub substantively took over from me. Despite that, it is one person that we worked with because he was employed as per the eulogy 
in uh, 1983. And I was employed two years earlier. That is in 1981. So when we were as young as we were then, we were close to each other. Up to the time that it was a one and two visa class one, and I was one and two visa class one, even though before I retired, I was the RSM. The person you are seeing here died an RSM. RSM is somebody very big. That language is known well by uh, the Defense Forces personnel. But it means regimental sergeant major. The person who is charged with the discipline of uh, an institution. So we have lost a person who was really good as for what we've had people say here before I, I came here. But because I had retired and I was in Kisumu, when I got the information that he passed on, I was compelled to travel uh, from far, Kisumu, to this place. And indeed I found out that he was loved, the same way we loved him. You know, this man stayed much longer time with us, with us in the military, than uh, with you people. So we know him when, when, when we say that he was a good man, trust us. And that is why we are here. But I want to finish because it is not my day to speak. You know, in front of my uh, bosses here, they will talk much about him. But as for me, I want to make a statement that uh, even though we loved him, even though we loved him, the Bible says that the person who eventually makes the difference is God himself. So despite the fact that men may love you, but we must understand that God is the final decision maker on where you are going. And therefore, I would like to urge everyone, because right away, I cannot speak to Dominic Macau, because he cannot hear. The only people I'm speaking to are the people who still can plant their ears at the end. But please, let us in this life try to be godly. Because that is when we make a difference in this life. But after everything else, if there is anybody who thought that he had a time, let me tell you, time and hour or the day and all time is not known. We can go any time. And ultimately the Bible says that when we die, there is judgment. Not all the things we are talking about, many things that we are talking about. Once we die, there is judgment. How did you do it when you were still living? So I want us to make, to try to make proper communication in, uh, with God. We make sure that whatever we are, we are doing is free from sin. So that when we go, God can give us a good place to be in. Thank you. Uh, let us appreciate this man. Umeso uh, Magito is a retired officer. Does he look as if he's retired? Is he strong? Is he still strong? Strong. Na mejiweka bizu, tumushangilie. Mzee Ukienda, 2017, Petitia MP huko kwenu utapata. Utapewa MP. Mzee Amekata. Aya, thank you very much. Nataka Noran. Noran yako wapi? The group ya Noran. Waje. Then from there, ma neighbors. Wachaje. Kisha. Ngieni. Ah. Uh, Chief, Assistant Chief, kama wamefika, nijulishwe. 
ndiposa uh, speeches zimeandikwa naita watu wawili hapa kusomea haraka haraka na kimizana na wakati ah uh, tutembea haraka haraka tafadhali tusiwe ni sisi tunalalia masaa sitaki tunaogopa kwa ajili ya masaa we should be ahead of time tafadhali ah uh, majirani ngekuwa ma, tayari anzeni kusimama majirani wako wapi Neighbors, ada kama ni mmoja? Eh, naona wewe mzee amejikaza. Haya, ingieni ma Na pia ah kuna marafiki wale ambao wametoka matakuzani jioni hapa. Tuingie ili tushikanishe hii picha tafadhali. Wale ambao tumetoka all the way mahali Dominic aliamia jioni. Alphonse Aragijeni na hakuna kuongea tu ni picha ngoja wazee wawili wafike ah uh, yes james naona umefika wala ambao tumetoka all the way from the other side tafadhali tuharakishe kidogo mzee eh senator ingia na utoe utoe hiyo kofia usifikini senator amechagos injina tu la mtaani injina la mtaani uh, tukaribia kidogo anaitwa aron mutisia Magari alikuwa anataka sasa lakini aka withdraw. Sawa. Ah assistant chief ako. Assistant chief ako. Ama chief. Ah uh, kama hajafika kifika tutampatia nafasi ningeomba Aya Ah ah wapi nataka tusomewe speeches sasa sababu get roots get roots get roots friends waje alafu Edwin yako wapi watusaidie kusoma yoloji as speeches ziko hapa kwa na nduko wako wapi yao get roots wako wapi ni marafiki anakishia nilikuwa naona kama ni matunda ngieni tu Unajua kiingereza ni ngumu. Ni ngumu. Anakisheni kisha Edwin utakuwa tayari kusoma hizo uh, speeches zote ndiposa tumalizie. Asanti mmesimama na msichana kufanya jambo nzuri. Atoa moja tu mbele tafadhali. Kuna mwingine anakuja ngoja hapo nyuma. Sans nani atasoma? Sans nani atakuja asome sans kama atasoma ama asaidiwe then daughter pia yule ambaye anamsaidia mother kifuatana namna hiyo the tributes wewe ni sana saidie alafu daughter yule atasoma atasaidia daughter daughter tributes from uh, son to dad words can't express what i feel it's like i'm in a dream waiting to wake up i will miss the good counsel you gave me how you came through for me in times of need it seemed at times like i wasn't appreciative but i really appreciated it the good times we had how every holiday you would organize gets togethers for us and how we made sure we never lacked anything Only God knows why we had to take we had to take you away from us but I will always cherish the time I go to spend with you while you are here. I promise to step up and take from where you left to ensure that your legacy is never forgotten to the people who lives you have touched in one way or another. Till we meet again dad I will miss you eternally. May you rest in peace and oh say hi to mommy when you guys reunite. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, msichana yule anamsomea aje. Not a tribute. My dad, Mr. Makau, was a true legend. A strong and courageous man. This is evident by the great fight he put up with the, with this monster called cancer. Dad was a kind soul, gentle and strict where necessary. 
He was a God-fearing and loved, and loved his family with a lot of zeal. I have fond memories of him checking my shop, shopping list before approving the purchase. He would literally cross out anything that he saw luxury or, or how he'd come pick me up from the airport when I came home. His excitement was evident on his face. I miss that about him. The pain of losing you is still fresh, but I will ensure that your legacy lives on. I'm grateful that I got this opportunity to enjoy the privilege of being a daughter. You are forever loved and will forever be missed. I love you. Aki uwe msiana, tunapokuwa, tukeomba, mutaji tu kwa jina, mungu angelegu mbatea nguvu. Sawa, sawa. Mama, nani atasoma ya mama? Nani atasoma ya mama? Aya, nduko, nduko, aya. Niki gamba, nani atasoma ya muende, you are equal to the task. Muende, you are equal to the task. Meandiko kwa luka ya mama, kwa hivyo utangalea jula yu karibu na hee, na wewe, kukutafusiri. Akristo mwesea, nisoma tribute ya inyo wa makau, tia kwa. Mwendo wa musei kwa mwana, nduwe kithimo, wana kikucha edhe wa. Nina utangunu na vyo mwye, wa mwingi, nini situ kona na mwendo wa mwendo kilio. Nyumu wa wendo wa kristo, domi, Hena na kuenda tete, na kimi ngai, a kuenda mbe, hena na ngedi. Ah, sikuwa na juu kama na juu kikamba. God bless you, brothers. Tribute, na ni rakuja asome. Ya brothers, tribute. Ah, who has been assigned to that duty? Nani? Aye. Eh, bena tu njiskia. Okay. Uh, if, you can, if you are able, I have no objection. Then, sisters, Razain Moya, Sandy Bella, Razma Makule, thank you. enough words to share the memories God gave us together. We cannot find ways to express how much we miss you. Your astuteness, focus and discipline has been our group. Though you are gone, we know that we will meet again. You will have your brothers. Hassan Bernard, he has traveled all the way from the U.S. Na Mungu ni Mwema. Sandy sisters, Nani ya zoma ya sisters, who is assigned, yes, naona already. Then from there, our sister-in-law. Sisters, she, to our brother who was caring and true, we loved you so much. Rest in peace till we meet again. Sunday. Zuri amuongezi munafugata kile ambacho tunafanya. Sisters in law. Sisters, sisters in law. Who will do that work? Nani? Sisters in law. I still mwende. This is your task. Thank you very much. Uh, Mwema's tribute. Yo, yo. Mwema's tribute. Uh -huh. So, Mwema is the brother, the, 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 
the, light, the, the, the youngest in the family, the Uyo. You Mato left a legacy. Mali. You left a legacy, you left footprints to follow. You raised the bar, you showed me that nothing is impossible in our generation. You mentored and made me to be what I am today. You are like a father figure to me. Many are the times you also referred me as your firstborn son. Shine on your way, bro. Rest in peace. Thank you, Atanas. Nani atasoma ya Atanas? Songa mbele. Atanas, eh? Nduku. Atanas tributes. Thank you, my brother, for your guidance on education matters. Without your help, I couldn't become what I am today. Administration kuna ya bawa mefika. Chief, Assistant Chief, kama wajafika, I will hand over this uh, to the father. Kwa hivyo, ninaomba, kama pengine ni megosea, mimi ni mwanadamu ambaya na nyama na ndamu. Siniza wazawa? I'm not 100%. Kwa hivyo, in case kama mwana kuna mali meenda, kando, naomba msama, asandeni. Thank you, MC. Kwa sasa, Baada ya military kichukua na ibada, it will be a military affair mpaka mwisho kumpumzisha ndugu yetu. No one else will come katikati kutaka kuongea. Ata kama ni manasiasa manani, no one wants to me take over. Na ndiyo sasa tuna take over. Na kabla yoloji kwa upande wa kijeshi, kinigetaka kwa knowledge, the presence ya mkubwa yetu, mbae tukwa gae, Colonel Makori, welcome sir. Karibu. Uh, so sasa nitapeana eulogy ambayo itasomwa ya commandant ambayo itasomwa na OIC Major Macharia. Mua seo? Mua seo? Hata kama tuna husuni, tuko hai. Sinikweli? Mungu ametupea uhai lazima tujivunie kuwa tuko hai today even if ndugu yetu ametuacha i'm going to read the condolence message for the commandant school of signals where our late brother we have been working with him as our school RSM as you are told by what going RSM or the tired jaconia that uh, that seat is for this brilliant master in the school. So this man who is lying before us is a brilliant master in that school. We are losing somebody very important. And I'm going to read the message for the commandant school of signals. That is a commandant's message of condolences to the family of the late O1 Dominic Macau. The late O1 Dominic Macau was enlisted into the Kenya Defense Forces on 24th March 1983. After the basic military training, he was posted to Army Headquarters Signal Battalion, then to DOD Mwangaza, and later to Headquarter Kenya Army. And finally, in 2019, he was posted to School of Signals, Kahawa, where he worked until his demise. During his military career, he attended various promotional courses and he was promoted, promoted to the highest achievable rank, that is for Warrant Officer Class 1. Before his death, he was the school RSM, he served in various UN missions such as Kenya Contingent uh, East Timor in 2000 and United Nations missions in uh, Southern Sudan, that is UNAMIS, in 2017. And he was the, among the few members who set up an operationalized Operation Lidainchi that is a joint task force headquarters in the Bakas when we are watching for Somalia operation. He also received various medals 
such as UN Medo and Long Serving uh, Medo. That is for the person who has served without being charged or having any discipline case for more than 20 years. So that's why he is an IRSM. Then he was uh, given another medal, that is 20th Great Year of Nyayo Era and 20th Universal Communication Medal. In the year that I worked with the uh, O1 Dominic Macau, he was selfless, highly disciplined, proficient, and mingled modestly with his peers and also his peers. He was as devoted to the service and very, very resourceful. I just wanted to, tell, to let you know that our Lord are with the family at this soulful time and on behalf of the entire school of Signal, please accept our deepest sympathies. May Almighty rest his soul in eternal peace. Amen. That is Lieutenant Kano Wabua, our commandant. At a handover for familia monai. Pasasa to somea eulogy, ya co commander signal, about to somea na commandant, or school, Lieutenant Carlo, Madame Wambo. Our own head, and that is his nature. My name is Lieutenant Kanwanua, Commandant School of Signals. Indeed, Owen Macau was a great man. He was serving with us until his last breath. So, it was a mere eulogy, a co commander. That is Commander Kenya Army Corps of Signals. I learned of the demise of 54394-01 Dominic Macau, which occurred on 25th November 2022 at around 16.25 hours, with profound sorrow and heartfelt empathy for his family, friends, relatives, and colleagues. For the many years I have known Owen Dominic Macau, he was a disciplined warrant officer who was gentle at heart. He intermingled well with his peers and superiors. He diligently and selflessly discharged his duties in the Kenya Army Corps of Signals. His record remained untainted even during his ill health up to his demise. At this sad and difficult moment of life, we join you in prayer for God to grant you strength. The death of Owen Dominic Macau should not be a source of disunity, but a rallying point for the family to sacrifice, care for, and love the remaining members of the family. Warrant Officer One, Dominic Macau will not only be missed by his family and friends, but also by the entire Kenya Defense Forces. The officers, men and women of Kenya Army Corps of Signals join the family, relatives and friends in prayer to overcome this time of grief. Kindly accept our heartfelt condolences. May his soul rest in eternal peace. God bless you all. Ata. Ninaomba kupitisha kuu ujumbe ili muweze kuweka vizuri muwe mnausoma na kukumbuka na tutawapatia eology ya kwa commander na ya commandant asanteni
so sasa anapo hand over yology ambayo itakuwa ni ukumbusho wao sasa tunaanza ibada na nitaomba kwaya kwa wimbo mtoandali eh, mtutarishie mtutarishie na tutaweza kusimama ili tuendelee na ibada ametutangulia na yuko na muumba wake ambaye nitamani sana mimi kama padri wake mara kwa mara nikimtembelea makao akiwa sitali tulikuwa tukisali unaona imani yake kwa ndio maana tumuombee kwamba kama iwapo kwa roho yake ametoka na doa la dhambi Mwenyezi Mungu amrehemu na kwa ibada hii tuweze kupendeza Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili ya maisha ambayo makao aliyaishi. Tujue tabii zetu tupate kujia kwa tayari kushiriki kutolea Mungu sadaka safi hii kabisa. Na kuungamia Mungu Mwenyezi.
Go on, babe. E mungu baba mwenyezi tunakiri kwa imani kwamba mwanao alikufa na akafufuka utulie kwa wema wako ili kwa njia ya fumbo hili mtumishi wako Dominic Makau aliyelala katika Kristo apate furaha ya kufufuka kwa njia yake Araishi na tawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. Sasa tuweza kukaa kuweza kusikiza neno lake Mungu. Somo la kwanza tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana Milele. Somo katika waraka wa kwanza wa Mtume Paulo wa Wathesalonike. Ndugu, hatutaki msijue habari zao waliolala mauti. Msije mkauzimika kama na wengine wasio na matumaini. Maana ikiwa tuamini kwamba Yesu alikufa akafufuka vivyo hivyo na hao waliolala katika Yesu Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye kwa kuwa kwa ambieni haya kwa neno la Bwana kwamba sisi tulio hai tutakaosalia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana hakika atuta watangulia hao waliokwisha kulala mauti kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na pamoja na waliko na sauti malaika mkuu na parama, parapanda ya Mungu nao waliokufa katika Kristo watafululiwa, watafululiwa kwanza kisha sisi tulio hai tulio salia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili tumlaki Bwana hewani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana milele basi farijie neni kwa maneno hayo neno la Mungu tushukuru Mungu
akalichukua tunda wakashea na adamu wewe mtu wa kwanza ulisababisha kifo kikawa kwetu ni laana lakini adamu wa pili from the same same tree kwa mti huo huo adamu wa pili alibadili alibadilisha kifo kikawa sio tena laana ikawa ni baraka kwa sababu katika mti huu alishinda mti wa kwanza adamu alileta hali adhabu kutoka kwa Mungu but katika mti huu wa pili adamu wa pili alibadili akafanya kwamba sasa kifo hicho alikishindi alishinda mauti akatuletea baraka kwamba kifo ni lazima tutakutana nalo tena lakini sasa kifo hiki ni njia ya kwenda kukutana na muumba muumba wako Dominic amekutana na kifo na ndio maana nikasema tujapoteza amekutana na kifo kwenda kukutana na muumba wake ambapo mimi na wewe pia kifo kitatujia ni sisi kujiweka tayari kwenda kukutana na muumba itatekemea ni jinsi gani ulivyojiada matarisho yako na ndio maana somo la kwanza limetupatia ushauri mwema tufale jiani tupeane nguvu tuchukulie kifo kama imani kwa imani kwamba ni maisha we are being transformed from this wali katika ulimwengu huu kwenda katika utukufu wa Mwenyezi Mungu but but wa utukufu are you sure una hakika are you prepared for it bata ya nisha yako ya mekua na mdagani makau ata ni kikosa ni kichelewa ilikuwa lazima mwambie RSM NRH father mbona siya mwona ilikuwa lapenda kutokea jioni baada ya mepelekwa memori wa merudi ilikuwa lapenda kutokea jioni na because sitani sitani kutembea kukiwa na madaktari tunapita tunapishana nilikuwa napenda kupitia jioni we could sit and talk at length hata kiwa na rozari anambia nimeletewa hii rozari father nibarikie i used to na nikipata mgonjwa na ana nguvu hata na sali i was proud i was happy whenever i met him in the hospital mimi si kwamba alijua hii hali ambayo lakini alionyesha imani hiyo the day the last day of the day yo gera kidala wake patoka kando but i could see and be a father of the other my son to lead the father of the family but you could see somebody who alikuwa maisha yake pale ameyaweka na ndio maana i went on lima nilienda live niliporudi kusikia kifo kimempata leo nilikuwa na program ya catholic men the can cancel i had to come for his burial na wacha nile kwa watu wangu na wasea kuja kwangu naja kwa sababu ni kristo naja kuzika naja kupuzisha sio yote kiwa kadi yake maandiko hasi na sikujui istangui na ushiriki never never you will not see me doing the bible even hata kama ni osa ama ni nani naweza leo namtolea misa kwa sababu alipenda utashangaa sasa hivi tungekuja maongea misha tunakuja naongea hapa haya bali wapati haya tena pale pu 
Nisha zika otu moja Paka wakanambia Sande bono na ziku yu otu kama umo Waswahili hili mbaka kutasema Jiziki ukiwa hai Jiziki ukiwa hai When you are alive Be part of Where you are you expect Kama we ni hawo You are deserter To the church To the mosque Ata wa islam Pane mskiti uenda po kusuali Hapo ndiyo hao watakishugulikia. If you are deserta, when you are a you are kuna a resem mwingine kule juu, Peter. Na laitita, dokas kila kuko. Lete kiwa na kadi yake, uni jamaa wall, deserta. Do you think mimi ndiyo hapa, nitumike? Never. Akuna. Na ndiyo maana, let us avail ourselves. Let us present an asylum in your heart. Asylum in your heart. Kokeen. I'm a chaplain. Mimi ni padi wenu. But also pia wenu kwa msirika. If at the end of the month, unenya kwa kanyo mkuta. Ukipata labia, mshara wako ilikuwe menyongo emeshiri kwa maali. Because you kanyo unata mpia kelele. How do you think? Mungu mwenyewe, unafikiri mungu ni haizi kushika maisha yako? Na ndiyo maana, jizike ukiwa hai. Present yourself. Maisha yako ushirika. Going to church is not that you are a saint. But tunaenda kujaliwa neema ya mungu. Ndiyo tupiga hatua. Tunawe, wengine tunasasema tene, kibina tene wapi. Remember, remember, imani yako. Ndiyo mana, makau nilikunja kufamu, nilipokunja kuzika nilugi yake, meja mvua na fiki yangu. I'm the one who buried him. Na hapo ndiyo tulishikala tukafamiana zaidi. Since then, na ile heshi ma, na ile imadi yake. Na ndiyo mana, I'm happy na nime muambea, na nime offer misa. Na najua kwa mba yuko na mumba waki ya nivokuwa na tamani. Na tenilea kumuombea. Ni wewe mwenyewe jiweke katika hali ambayo kifo kikuji hapo. Ujue kwa mba uko na mumba wako. Na katika maisha mba wana staili. Mina toka nizaliwa Mombasa, nikuli ya Mombasa. Nilikuwa paroko wa pale kwa mboya. Pale kongoya kuna makaburi ya baile hituwa kongoya na makaburini. Nilikuwa kama padri na pena kwenda our stations. Na nilikuwa na pena kubeba vifurushi na beba maskonzi na otema soda kwa adili ya watumishu wa nisa hawa. Kuna sikuwa bao nilikuwa nimechanganyikiwa kwa sababu ya program niliyokuwa nayo. Nikawa nimeenda ibana kume sikuwa nimebeba soda. Riporuni vijana kashaka, ui ufana niyaji, mbona lewa tupati ya kietu. Yani mani, ilikuwa tukujitone ya kwamu. Kwa mba naenda na wawo, lakini kwa sababu ya njaa, wajipati, mbalau kakitu kidogo kujipati ya nguvu, batu wawo wakatikulio kwa mba ni haki yao. Na mimi nilipiti ya watu kusamati ya uchovu. Mimi kaingia kwa nyumba ni kalala. Nilipolala, nilistukia, Saa jioni jioni hivi jamaa mmoja amekuja mbio amekuja na msumbua mpishi fala fala taka kuona fala fala tusaidie nilishangaa kitu gani kumbe ile mzee alikuwa kwale vijana wangu walipita wakaenda wakapata maembe yameiva vizuri saa hiyo ya miti wakaparanga kwenda kuangusha Moja liyejuu hakawa na angusha, yuda liyechiri ya nasumbiri. Na kwa sababu vijana wanapenda kuzulumbiana, ikabili kwa mbele moja kama mbele mungine. Wewe, ewe sabu nisikie, kusinyo kani zulumu kani ibia. Wajani corruption nisi hati, corruption hata kwa watoto imeanza. Kwa hivyo na kajio we, usili corrupt, ewe sabu nisikie. So hivyo na kawa na nisabu, Ili yangu, ili yako. Kumesikia? Eh. Ili yangu, ili yako. Sawa? Dio. So wakawa na angusha. Kume giza ilikuwe mefika. Na pale maali ilikuwe ni shortcut. 
kuna mzee alikuwa ametoka maeneo ya kule anapipa anapita na na jerkin yake alikuwa amebeba mnazi mnazi ni e, kinywaji kinywaji juice juice hapa hapa unaita makao makao hapa unaita makao hapa unaita nini unaita makao kalu kalu eh sasa hiyo mzee akawa anabeba jerkin na eh na akawa kipita vile anatembea akasikia zile sauti ili yangu ili yako ili yangu ili yako eh kumbe hapo ndio unajua hao wazee hujifanya wanajifanya wanaenda hivi lakini alisimama akashtuka ala ili yangu ili yako pale ilikuwa ni makabulini kumbe walevi pia wanajua Biblia akakumbuka imeandikwa hata leo tumesomewa kwamba siku ile parapara itapiga na Kristo atashuka na wale walio fariki walio nazwa ndio watakuwa kwanza kufufuliwa alafu sisi wengine tufuate baadaye akaona wa wa kimeumana kumbe leo Yesu amekuja sasa wanangangaliana Yesu anasema ili yangu ah wewe shetani ili yangu ili yangu shetani ili yako sasa akaona hapa kama Yesu amekuja wanaanza kuchukua na shetani ndani hapa wacha nikimbie kwa fadhili nikaombe maungamo nijitalise ili atakapokuja kwangu nipate niko sawa that was an incident of that guy for you death might come when you are not sure when you are not ready when you don't know the day prepare always don't wait for an activity an event to change you that guy wanted to change because of that incident fine makao was in a, in a hospital maybe to you inaweza kuja ghafla you don't know but always prepare how do you prepare live well with others is a good example live well with others is vema kama katika injili kristo alianza kutuombea baba anawaombea hawa wawe kitu kimoja mbona sisi wenyewe kati yetu ndio tunakatana miguu just because of promotion just because reaching out and to be arrested just because to be in that place in that office you go to an extent of tarnishing somebody's name for you to gain ushindwe kama Kristo anatuombea leo wao waende kuweka mesene fitina kwa mtomea mwenza konguru ushindwe kabisa we should be at least katika because tunahitajiana tunahitajiana na tutafahana wakati wa dhiki let us always be there for one another can do even cover up can do even rescue your brother when the body body how that person will give you a covering fire why not in the normal life boy si katika maisha kawaida ndio maana tujirudi na kuangalia jinsi gani tuwezavyo kuishi and we show by example who Christ went to Gandhi kumoja ila Gandhi aliangalia akachanga akasema surely surely alikuwa anasoma biblia akasema this person who is being taught in this bible lived well but I'm surprised his followers me and you because we live contrary to what Christ is telling us every day we live contrary to next kinyume 
than your mother. Let us give an example, living one another, be there for each other. Aina haja, ati siku ya kifo, ndi onapuja kuogea mazuri ya mtu. Unapo ishi ya ogee meme mwizako. Ya ogee meme mwizako. Wacha kia chafua, kuweza fitina, ili kwa mba wangu wanifane mzuri. Na uonapo yula na ogea baya ya mwizake, chua ata wewe ataenda kuogea ata zaidi. Na diyo maana tuombe loo ya marehebu, mapao. Lakini sisi ndio tujifunze. I always say in this coffee where our brother lies. Whenever we see this for him I'm a safari. Now it is you. It is you and me. Safari ya kaidaisha. Na ndio maana yeye ametuliza. Jiangalie let this be a reflection. Look at your life. When the day will come, you will be like him here. Siku hiyo. Ndiyo diangalie kama kweli utakula style kwa mambo ya Mungu. Tuweze kumsindikiza ndugu yetu lakini tujiandae sisi wenyewe katika roho zetu. Tuna base kimya kuombea roho ya marehemu Dominic na tujiombe pia sisi wenyewe nafsi zetu maisha yetu tujitazame jinsi ambavyo tupo our own status let us ask for God's blessings especially kwa tukio ambalo tutakalo kuwa nalo la kuteremsha na kupuzisha kwa sababu ndio pigo zaidi ndio uchungu zaidi Atuta muwana, lakini tuna imani tutakutana na ye. Let us remain silent. Tunaomba yote kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Tuendele na matoleo. Eh, msi uta tamboza vile matoleo yenu. Ah, uh, in short, tunatoa sandaka. Kwa hivyo wale wa hii jumuiya mlete vikapu ama vile ambavyo mmejipanga wako wapi wako wapi umbale ambao mzee kuja unasaidia watu wako wako wapi naona tayari wamejipanga asandeni kwa mpango mzuri ah wakati wa kutoa sandaka kwaya mnajua vile wao mnafanya wakati tunapotoa sandaka tunakimbizana na wakati
sadaka Ikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Mwana atokea sadaka mikononi mwako. Na sisi tutakuwa na sadaka. Ya Baba yetu sisi tunapata ya Baba sadaka. E Bwana tunakutolea ngoje nikevu za biu hii. Tukiomba rehema yako kwa ajili ya wokovu wa mtumishi wako Dominic Makau na kwa kuwa hakutia shaka kwamba mwanao ndiye mokozi mwema tunakusii umjalie ili amfikie na kumuona yeye aliyehakimu mwenye huruma anaishi na tawala daima na milele Bwana awe nani Inweni ni oyo Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu Kweli ni vema na haki tena la kufana na kuleta wokovu. Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e Bwana, Baba ulio mtakatifu, Mungu Yesu wa milele. Ingawa tunastahili kufa, lakini unatuhurumia kwa neema yako kwamba tukiisha kuangamizwa na mauti kwa sababu ya dhambi, tunakombolewa kwa njia ya ushindi wa Kristu na kuti na kuitwa tena pamoja naye kwenye uzima kwa hiyo si pamoja na nguvu za mbinguni tunakutukuza daima hapa duniani tukisifu bila mwisho adhama yako kwa sauti kuu <tune>
Vivo ilgo vale a kula, a katoa kikombe, a kurutena, a kawapo a fosiwake a kisema, to a eni mune note, eki vite kikombe cha dami angu, dami a rano jipia mune, itakao magika pa agilienu, na pa agilia wengi kwa maondoleo ya dami, kwa nini hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu. Fumo la imani. Kufa, kesa, kuka, kesa, kuka. Kwa hiyo e buwana, tunapu adhimisho ukumbusho wa kifu na ufukwa kimanao. Tunapuwelea mkato uzima na kikombe cha okovu. Tunapushikuru kwa kove tustailisha kusimama mbele yako na kutulikia. Pia tunapusi kwa unirekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na dami ya kristu. Tukusanye na roo mtakatifu, tupate kuwa jama moja. E, wana walikuhuke kanisa lako lilidu wanyea popote duniani. Ulikamilishe kati kama pendo, pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francis, na askofu wetu Norman na wakilio wote. Omkumbuke mtumishu wako Dominic Macau, tulie mwita kwako, kutoka dunia hii. Kundalie hili ye ya lie shirikisha kifo cha manao kwa ubatiso, ashiriki pia ufukuku waki. Wakumoke pia nuguzetu wale ufariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufukuko, na maremu wate wale ufariki dunia katika uruma yako wakoke kwenye nuru ya uso wako. Tunapomba uturumie sisi sote, ili pamoja na maria vikira mwenye hili mama wa mungu, na mtakatifu yosefu, Mume wake huyo bikira, nitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waleo kupedeza tangu kare, tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kukusifu na kukutukuza. Kwa jaya ya manao, Yesu Christo. Kwa njia yake na pamoja nae na nani yake, uwewe mungu baba mwenyezi katika umono wa roo mtakatifu, Unapata ishima yote na utukufu milele na milele. Amina. Tusari kwa imani sana ya mwana liotufundisha. Baba yetu liye mbinguni. Ewe bwana tunakuomba utupoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kwa wewe mama ni maisha ni mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako. Tupoe dai mara dhambi wala tusifadhaishe na jambo lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini leye heri na ujio wa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Ewe bwana Yesu Kristo liambia mitume wako amani na waacheni amani yangu na wapa usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kunijalia amani umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaisha tawala daima na milele amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi mwana kondoa Mungu Tazama mwana kondo wa mungu. Tazama aondoa edha mizawi mwengu. 
heri yao waliwalipa kwenye karamu ya maana kondoo e bwana tuketi kwa wale watakaopokea na wale wa katoliki ambao wameruhusiwa na wamefunguliwa wamejiandaa kuweza kupokea mwili wa Kristo ijitarishe Paul Bearas pale mlipo mtulie tu hapo hapo lakini mjitarishe nikimaliza ile baraka ndio nitabariki mwili ya eh, mwisho alafu 
firing party, your position, kila mmoja anaweza kufahamu. E bwana Mungu, mwanao ametuachia komunio, komunio pamba katika sakramenti ya mwili wake kwa nguvu ya chakula hiki. Upere kumjalia ndugu yetu Dominic Makau afike kwenye karamu ya milele ya Kristo anaishi na tawala daima na milele. Bwana amenaji. Mungu mwenyezi wa bariki baba mwana na roho mtakatifu. Tele kwa amani visa yetu imekwisha. So sasa naingia kwa sehemu ya kubariki mwili na kujiandaa kwenda kwa kaburi. Uh, wakati ambao nikibariki firing party tuchukue position yenu na watu wa Paul Bears muwe tayari. tunamsindikiza ndugu yetu Dominic Makau katika safari yake ya mwisho hapa duniani Mungu alimpa maisha ya duniani na sasa amemuita ili ampe maisha ya mbinguni yasiyo na mwisho mwili wake huu tutauweka ardhini kama mbegu ya mwili utakao tukuka na roho yake iingie katika raha ya milele Tunakuomba e Bwana umpokee ndugu yetu huyu Dominic Makau katika uzima milele na utawala wako. Apate furaha isiyo na mwisho na kukaa miongoni mwa watakatifu wote daima na milele. Baba yetu liye mbinguni. Salam Maria Atukuze Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana, Mungu Roho Mtakatifu. Kama mwanzo na sasa na siku zote na milele amina. Sasa tumpeleke ndugu yetu Dominic makaburini. Tutumaini kuwa siku moja tutakutana naye katika uzima mpya. Paul Bearas. Naye beba msalaba, naye beba
eh, Mungu ulibariki kaburi hili umweke na malaika wako mtakatifu alilipi na huyu ambaye mwili wake utazikwa kumi roho yake ifurahi kwako mbinguni pamoja na watakatifu wako bila mwisho tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristo bwana wetu wazima na wafu ndugu zangu tumuombe kwa unyenyekevu Mungu Baba wa rehema kwa ajili ya ndugu zetu waliofariki e, Bwana wasamee kwa wema dhambi zao twakuomba e, Bwana twakuomba utusikie usipokee kazi zao njema twakuomba e, Bwana twakuomba utusikie tuwaombe wote wanaohuzunika kwa kifo cha ndugu huyu wetu kwa kuomba e bwana kwa kuomba e bwana watulize wote waliofiwa tuombeane sisi wenyewe ambao tu safarini hapa duniani mungu atuimarishe na kutudumisha katika utumishi wake mtakatifu kwa kuomba e bwana kwa kuomba mungu mwenyezi kwa imani tunasandiki kifo na ufufuko wa mwanao. Tunaomba utujalie sisi na ndugu zetu marehemu. Tufufuke katika furaha. Tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Mwenyezi Mungu amependa kumwita kwake. Huyu ndugu yetu toka uzima huu. Tunaweka mwili wake mdogoni urudie ulipotoka. Kristo amekufuka kwa kwanza kutoka kwa wafu. Tunamkabidhi huyu ndugu yetu ndomi kwa Bwana. Bwana ampokee katika amani yake na mwili wake aufukue siku ya mwisho.
Thank you. 